I've always been the type of guy that would rather be in a garage than an office. I would put in eight hours a day at the architecture firm and then come here and put eight hours a night at my furniture shop. I kind of became more confident in, in what I was making and realized that you know other people can appreciate this in the same way that I do. If I believe in what I'm making, it's one thing, but if other people believe in it, then it becomes so much more. The idea of one day being able to focus solely on designing things that I, I really cared about is what really kept me going. When you're making things by hand, they take a lot of time. So there's a sense of pride in each weld you do, each piece of wood that you join together. The wood that I choose is not necessarily perfect. The mistakes kind of add to the finished product. It tells a story. You know, the wood has its own character. The, the brushing of the steel that I do with the sander is all, it's all unique. It also just has a good feeling to me. You know, I just hope they like it. I hope they enjoy it and I hope they use it. This furniture is something that you sit in or place in your home. It has to be well made. You know, I'm proud of the, the craftsmanship that goes into each piece. A tree could become the structure in someone's house, or it could become the table that the family dines on. What I'm trying to do is create furniture that will last generations. Each memory of the previous owner will add onto the piece of furniture, you know, if it gets nicked or dinged or scratched. It'll all just beautify it and give it the soul that, that we used to see in our parents' furniture. You know, when you make something that you could be proud of and something that other people can enjoy, it reinforces the humanizing elements of something that was created by a person for a person. But the precious rose is yours to keep.